News 10 has learned new information on what led to a fiery train derailment in Princeton, Indiana. You're looking at the amazing video from that day right now. Tonight, authorities are saying extreme heat played a factor in this incident. Good evening and thanks for joining us. The Federal Railroad Administration released a new report. It explains exactly what led up to the train derailment and explosion in Princeton, Indiana last year. The derailment caused more than $1 million worth of damage. It also created dangerous conditions for firefighters. The fire plume, you know, shooting hundreds of feet in the air and uh, realized real fast that we were going to have to make some pretty quick decisions on what we're going to do. News 10 Bureau Chief Gary Bryan breaks down the report and tells us what it was like for firefighters on the scene. The Federal Railroad Administration says that last year's train accident here south of Princeton was the result of misaligned tracks. They say that problem began just an hour and a half before the accident. On June 17, 2018, Fire Chief Mike Flug was enjoying a relaxing Father's Day. Little did he know he was starting what would become a 40 plus hour shift. He felt uh, the house shake and about two, two minutes later, a neighbor comes beating on the door, all panicked, said they seen an explosion. And 23 cars derailed, six were hauling hazardous materials, and two caught fire. 32 people were evacuated and US-41 was shut down. I was fortunate that I had a lot of support, uh, I had a lot of help. I had a lot of people step forward to help. Help came from the local, state, and national levels, making sure no one got hurt and the tracks were fixed in just days. The Federal Railroad Administration report details the events of June 17th. According to the report, an inspector cleared the tracks during an inspection earlier that day. Between the time of the inspection and the accident, an area of the track had become, quote, thermally misaligned. That means the rails were hot enough to move. The FRA believes a loaded coal train came through the area during the hottest time of day. That was roughly an hour and a half before the incident. They believe this caused a thermal misalignment, which caused the derailment. Chief Flug credits the quick work of his crew and those involved with making sure no one was hurt. I, I couldn't be more proud of the guys on this department and gal. Uh, they. They stood up, uh, did the job that they had to do. The fire chief tells me that just a couple of weeks ago, they worked with another train company to train for this type of event. In Princeton, Gary Bryan, News 10.